I have like their nails like here. And my nails. Their like ears. That? Huh? Like that? But they're like real close. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by again. Today I'm doing this um, press on set. And I'm starting off with a Model 1's primer on top of the nail since I'm not buffing it. This is going to help the base coat that I'm putting on here in a second have something to stick onto. And of course I'm curing it for 30 to 60 seconds under the lamp. Um, I'm using the Venalisa Paint Pot Gel today from AliExpress. And I actually really, really like the entire collection that they have. Um, I love the consistency of a paint pot gel. If you're not really that artistic like myself, it gives you free range of which brushes to use and how close in proximity you can get to the cuticle area. So huge fan of these. I do two coats and then I'll come back on here when I start doing a little bit more of the design. Wait, but like, how cute is my boyfriend helping direct where I put my nails? Okay, back to the tutorial. about you guys but there's just something so satisfying about watching like a really thick cream being painted over nails I think it's just I don't know it makes me happy so I left that entire clip on there and this is just me finishing up the second coat you ever just have like a nail session where everything is just falling and just nothing's going right well I'm pretty sure this was one of the many that I've had but anyway I'm taking a white gel um, nail gel from a bottle I, I had one from the Minalisa collection but I was way too lazy to go get it um, I'm just taking this thin brush that I got off of Shein and freehanding the V um, French tip so for the first base layer, I'm kind of just etching out where I want it and then cleaning it up with some acetone with another brush. And uh, I do this twice. So I have two layers or two cures of the white nail polish. And then of course I keep you know messing around with it until I'm satisfied. But when it comes to doing the acetone, definitely take your time in cleaning it up and you know remembering that it's gel and that won't set until you actually put it in the lamp is very important so don't start freaking out so when i did my right hand originally i was going for the deep French v-tip that we've been seeing around but when I was actually making the design I thought that it'd be cuter to have some of the pink peeping out from the corner especially with the stickers that I was adding it was just some simple fire stickers that I was adding but it turned out more of like a chevron design more than the French tip but I think it added a little cute accent to that so if you were trying to do this, then I think it could go either way. Okay, so the two nails in the back there, um, 
Hmm. So <laughs> I was so caught up in being satisfied with how the color was applying on the nails that I forgot my middle and ring finger were accent nails <clears throat> and they were supposed to be left clear so I put those off to the side there and started over with the middle and the ring finger and you'll see me do that here in a second but that's why I left those two out. So while the other nails are cooking, I'm putting the base layer on here. It's like a light pink from D&D. &D. And then you'll see me swap them out and have those cure while I finish up these ones and try to get them as close to what I'd like them to be. And then I swap them out again and then I'm working on the pink V tip chevron design for this nail. And obviously for the accent nails, there is no base layer color like a background color so I just go ahead for the full um, V DP French cut and then for these nails here they are ready to be top coated and then I swap them out again perfect the pink ones and then fully cure them and make sure that I wipe and cleanse the top here in a second before I put the top coat on and the pink tips, um, I put the stickers on and then use the top coat as a sealant to avoid the stickers um, peeling later. And the top coat that I use is actually pretty good. It doesn't budge and it pretty much seals everything in from stickers to you know gel paint. the finished product. I hope you guys liked it. Bye!